Hey y'all, what's up, my beautiful peeps? Welcome back to a brand new episode of Give Sense 92, giving you guys the latest and exclusive content on new music, entertainment news, and inspirational quotes by me. The queen is back. You girls on the roll these birthdays, you know, Libra's Libra season, Libra season. Man, my favorite Libra musicians, I'm telling y'all. Maya, girl, today is her birthday. Happy birthday to the queen, Maya. Maya turned 43 years old. Her birthday is on October the 10th. I'm going to tell y'all something. Maya, she, uh, I grew up with Maya. You know, I love Maya. I'm a huge fan of her music. I am have always been a fan of hers. I feel like Maya definitely deserves her flowers as well. And really, when it comes to this music industry and female musicians, we already know. But Maya has done a lot, you know, and she has done the singing and dancing and the choreography for herself, her lane, because she studied the greats that came before her. I feel like Maya deserves her flowers because she's one of the rare ones as well for her lane, the singing and dancing and her music. You know, she came out like in what the 1990s and with her like own style, her enigma, you know, with her peers alongside with her peers out of respect. Because there was a lot of that like really feel good music in different styles and especially with black women music. Now, Maya is not a black woman. She's not. Maya is a biracial woman of color. OK, she's biracial. She's mixed. So she's not a black woman, not to put her down like, no. But her high caliber of talent as a biracial mixed woman of color, homegirl, I feel like homegirl is a pioneer, pretty much. Because I feel like Maya's sultry sensuality, that enigma, that edginess, that real sexy sex appeal, but with like that really high caliber of talent, you know, that she's always had. And I feel like listening to her music, you know, even her hit records, she has sustained success and longevity in the music business. She has hit records to her name alongside with, you know, the rest of female musicians, broke barriers. And I feel like really, to be honest, I feel like, like I said, the music industry tried to, you know, not give her her credit. And it happens. Hey, it happens. But the thing is, she has always pushed through, stayed resilient made really good music. I have been checking out how she has stayed consistent throughout the years. And I feel like listening, you know, to her music too, it's kind of like that R&B, soul, hip hop, pop sound that she, you know, found for herself. And I think that even with her singing and dancing, I'm going to tell you something, she can sing and dance at the same time. She can. I mean, that choreography. We're, talking, we're not talking about no just, you know, the two steps. No, we're talking about full-on choreography. I feel like as an entertainer, as a dancer, Maya deserves her props, hands down. Because even the singing and dance at the same time, she definitely has had like that rhythm and blues and that body movement where she can sing and dance at the same time. And this is the reason why I feel like with Maya, I mean, she definitely is like pretty much like a land of her own, a gem in music. And she has also has, you know, expressed the same disdain of the music industry, but she has, you know, still pushed through. And I feel like it's really amazing because, like I said, most of these musicians that I grew up with, they had the whole package, the whole nine yards of caliber of talent. Mainstream was a lot different years ago, you know, and I'll get to that later on and on this platform, so stay tuned. But what I'm saying is that Maya definitely, she has really been like, you know, those set of the singing and dancing entertainers for the female musician, you know, and that's like for herself, like I said, like Janet, Janet Jackson, that's one of her main influences because Janet Jackson is the queen, Janet Jackson is the birth woman of that. So I might be able to do the damn thing too and do the next thing, you know, pay the way for the next set of, the, you know, queens of doing their thing, you know, because I feel like really, as time goes on, how the music is shifting, and I'm like, hmm, cool. It's like now we're really getting to see more talented, though, female musicians. 
But for Maya, for herself, she definitely has always been one of my favorite ones. And I feel like, yeah, she definitely is like pretty much, in my honest opinion, a legend an icon for herself. It's not just saying a legend icon, throw it out there, but to be honest, if you do homework and you just research on her, the 1990s and the early 2000s, the collaborations, big, huge, okay, Lady Marmalade, that's a huge big record she has had success with Lil' Kim, Missy Elliott, Pink, Christina Aguilera. I remember when that song was popping, like years ago, seeing the, the music video and all that. So a lot of that really, that's a blessing because, like I said, you know, Maya, hands down. So she's always been one of my, you know, favorite entertainers, female musicians. So that being said, happy birthday, queen girl. You deserve your flowers. Keep doing the damn thing. I'm wishing you many more. So that being said, guys, my fans, share your thoughts and your opinions. Stay tuned in the next episode of Get Since Night 2. Like, share, comment, subscribe down below. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification button. And as always, stay tuned in the next episode of Get Since Night 2, Dragon Ball Z, Nary Reference. Peace, but bye, girls, as you out. The Super Saiyan is out.